how to draw activity diagram so let us discuss on this aspect so activity diagrams are mainly used as a flowchart that consists of activities performed by the system so activity diagram looks like a flowchart but obviously it is not a flowchart it is having more additional capabilities compared to that of flowchart and what is an activity activity is nothing but one operation in a system activity diagrams are not exactly flowcharts as they have some additional capabilities and these additional capabilities include branching parallel flow swim lane sequential flow and so on so they, these are the extra features which were absent in our in our flowcharts so before drawing an activity diagram we must have a clear understanding about the elements used in the activity diagram the main element of an activity diagram is the activity itself an activity is a function performed by the system we discussed that one activity is nothing but a function performed in the system after identifying the activities we need to understand how they are associated with constraints and different conditions and depending upon them the activity the flow the control flow will be decided in our previous videos we have discussed that in our uml we are having five different diagrams which deals with the dynamic view of the system so these diagrams are your use case diagram sequence diagram collaboration diagram state chart diagram and there is a fifth one that is the activity diagram and in all those diagrams we are supposed to pass messages but here in this diagram we are supposed to pass the control flow so control flow how the control will be flowing through the activity diagram that is a main point of concern now let us consider this swim lane diagram here you see we are having this consumer marketing sales and the respective success so create marketing campaigns so now consumer learns about the product so after through this marketing campaigning so consumer will be able to understand regarding the different features and he or she can learn about the product does the consumer want to purchase that product or procure that product no no sales lead so it will get terminated here otherwise the control will be flowing here so here yes so marketing finds marketing finds sales leads so this particular marketing will be finding a sales lead so now control will be coming to this no message flow the control flow so sales receives lead so now it will be coming here sell to consumer the consumer will get the product so the sell will be completed here and then success helps retain consumer as a customer so that is a success we are having so this is known as swim lane diagram we cannot think such diagrams in our flowcharts so that's why this this activity diagram is quite different from the flowchart but it looks like a flowchart that's true but it is not a flowchart so how to draw an activity diagram so before drawing an activity diagram we should identify the following elements what are the elements there is the activities there is the operations which is getting performed in the system the associations how they are related conditions and different constraints so once the above mentioned parameters are identified we need to make a mental layout of the enter flow and this mental layout is then transformed into an activity diagram so at first we might be doing some paperwork some mental flow we'll be thinking about then we shall give a shape in the activity diagram so now let us consider another one so enter password and user id so if here invalid password and id so prompt for a re-entry so input tries again so it will be going there otherwise the control will get terminated at the final at the final state so now select major function so what function you are going to select so many different functions are there so so many other functions are there mentioned so here it has been selected as select surveillance so now here we are having this surveillance so this is the select surveillance now we are having this thumbnail view and select a specific camera so depending upon that this respective respective portion will get selected and then the control will come here we know that in case of activity diagram we are having the con control flow and view camera output in a labeled window and prompt for another view and this exit this function or see another camera in this way so here in this case we are getting this activity diagram on a certain case study 
So, there is a respective operation you have selected and you have drawn the activity diagram on it. Thanks for watching this video.